I'm about to meet a really exciting team, two of the co-founders of Valkyrie Industries, Kurush and Ivan, who are going to talk me through what their wearable technology is going to do to merge the digital and virtual worlds together and incorporate that missing aspect, right? Going beyond visual and auditory and bringing in a sense of touch in a digital space. I can't wait. I'm on the road, literally, hunting down some fascinating startups and their eclectic founders. And this is where technology, particularly tech for good, actually kicks into play, yeah. is when it just becomes all pervasive and you don't have to think about it. Exactly. And that interface between a person and their tech is just blurred. One thing that I've come up against, and I wonder if you share the same observation, yeah. is business leaders, whether it's organizations, governments, no matter what type of company it is, mm -hmm. or even nonprofits, mm -hmm. sometimes still view data perhaps as an IT thing. My name is Shivi Jervis, and I'm a tech futurist. I'm here to uncover tech trends and their impact on our future. It's my job to take you into the future, unearthing the latest innovations transforming the world around us and perhaps even within us. Air travel demand is expected to double by 2035. With this added pressure, airline companies are going to need to manage their assets even more efficiently. Okay, so I'm sold on blockchain, but I want to see it in action. Right, so it's that time of year again, and Jeremy and I are about to take you on a walk through of fascinating inventions from Tesla. So Jose, this could give sports fans a completely new way to watch and experience a game. Expensive, right? I mean, how are we going to make this feel accessible from a price point Most. perspective? Indeed, because algorithms can imbibe creator bias and indeed the negative impulses of the person that's actually programmed.